The Lord of the Rings, Part 7, by J. R. R. Tolkien. Pippin looked out from the shelter of Gandalf's cloak. He wondered if he was awake or still sleeping, still in the swift moving dream in which he had been wrapped so long since the great ride began. The dark world was rushing by and the wind sang loudly in his ears. He could see nothing but the wheeling stars and away to his right, vast shadows against the sky where the mountains of the south marched past. Sleepily, he tried to reckon the times and stages of their journey, but his memory was drowsy and uncertain. Where are we, Gandalf? In the realm of Gondor! What's that? What? Look! Fire! Red fire! Are there dragons in this land? Look, there's another! Go on, Shadow Facts! We must hasten! Time is short! See, the beacons of Gondor are alight, calling for aid! War is kindled! Look! There's fire on the mountains, and there they go, speeding west to the borders of Rohan. It's long since the beacons of the north were lit, Pippin. Sleep, and don't be afraid. For you aren't going like Frodo to Mordor, but to Minas Tirith. And there you'll be as safe as you can be anywhere these days. If Gondor falls or the ring is taken, then the Shire will be no refuge. Yea, truly, we know you, Mithrandir. And you know the passwords of the seven gates and are free to go forward. Good, good. But we don't know your companion. What? What is he? A dwarf out of the mountains in the north? No, no. We wish for no strangers in the land of this time. Right. Mm. Unless they be mighty men of arms in whose faith and help we can trust. I will vouch for him before the seat of Denethor, your regent. His name is Beregrin, a very valiant man. Man? Yes. <laughs> man? Man, indeed not. What? I, I'm a hobbit, and no more valiant than I am a man. See, perhaps now and again, by necessity, don't let Gandalf deceive you. Well, well, in a halfling, though, though not the one that was spoken of. Uh-huh. Yes. And Boromir was with us. Yes, Boromir. Pass on. The Lord of Minas Tirith will be eager to see any that bear the latest tidings of his son. Yes. Be he a man or a... Hobbit. Come, come. Oh, can't come to that. Oh, right. Be careful of your words now, Master Peregrine. Why? This is no time for hobbit pertness. Pertness? I like Theoden that. Theoden is a kindly old man. The steward, Denethor, is another sort, proud and subtle, a man of far greater lineage and power, though he's not called the king. Oh. But he'll speak most to you and question you much, since you can tell him of his son, Boromir. Oh, yes, I he loved can. him greatly. Now, don't tell him more than you need... And leave quiet the matter of Frodo's errand, and say nothing about Aragorn either, unless you must. At least he should come unheralded by us. Why? It's, well, it's scarcely wise when bringing the news of the death of his heir to a mighty lord to speak over much of the coming of one who will, if he comes, claim the kingship. Kingship? Yes, yes. If you've walked all these days with closed ears and mind asleep, wake up now. Lord and steward of Minas Tirith, Lord Denethor, I'm come with counsel and tidings in this dark hour. Dark indeed is the hour, and at such times you are wont to come, Mithrand. But though all the signs forebode that the doom of Gondor is drawing nigh, less now to me is that darkness than my own darkness. It has been told to me that you bring with you one who saw my son die. Is this he? It is one of the twain. 
The other is with Theoden, king of Rohan, and may come hereafter. Halflings they are, as you see, yet this is not he of whom the omen spoke. Yet a halfling still, and little love do I bear the name, since those accursed words came to trouble our counsels and draw away my son on the wild errand to his death. My Boromir, now we have need of you. You speak of Boromir and his death? You have had news of that ere we came? I have received this horn cloven in the oh, middle. Th that's the horn that Boromir always wore. So tell me more. He died to save us, my, my kinsmen and myself, waylaid in the woods by the soldiery of the Dark Lord. And though he fell and failed, my gratitude is none the less. See, my lord, I, I offer you my small sword and lay it at your feet. Give me the weapon. Surely this blade is wrought by our own kindred. Here do I swear fealty and service to Gondor and to the Lord and Steward of the realm. To speak and to be silent, to do and to let be, to come and to go, in need or plenty, in peace or war, in living or dying from this hour henceforth, until my Lord release me or death take me, or the world end. So say I, Peregrine of the Shire of the Halflings. And this do I hear, Denetho, Lord of Gondor, steward of the High King, and I will not forget it nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, valor with honor, oath-breaking with vengeance. And now my first command to you, speak and be not silent. Tell me your full tale. Bring wine and food and seats for the guests. Come, now tell me your tale. should like breakfast. Oh, now who's this? Ah, you are Pippin, the halfling. Welcome. I am named Beregon. I have been sent to teach you the passwords. Gandalf, Mithrandir, as you call him, asked me to see to his horse, Shadowfax, a great steed of Rohan, and the apple of the king's eye, I'm told. Uh, all right, come. You shall make me acquainted with this good horse. I love beasts, and we see them seldom in this stony city. And we will go thence to the butteries. The butteries? Oh, that sounds better. Come. Um. Your Shadowfax looks as if he were spoiling for a race not newly come from a great journey. How strong and proud he is. Where is his harness? It should be rich and fair. He will have none. If he will consent to bear you, bear you he does. And if not, well, no bit, bridle, whip, or thong will tame him. Ah. Farewell, Shadowfax. Have patience. Battle is coming. And now for our manger. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come. Pippin's lodging was dark, save for a little lantern on the table. Gandalf was pacing to and fro in the room beyond the curtain of the alcove. There were candles on the table and rolls of parchment. When will Faramir return? Hello. I'm glad to see you back. Oh, it's been a long day. Oh, the night will be too short, Pippin. You should sleep while you still may. The darkness has begun, and there will be no dawn. <laughs> <laughs> 